Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1, 1863. With the stroke of a pen, the Presidential Proclamation and Executive Order changed the legal status of three million slaves in designated areas of the American South. Specifically, it proclaimed the freedom of those slaves held in bondage in the 11 states that were in rebellion against the United States government. Since the proclamation was based on Lincoln's constitutional authority as commander-in-chief, the executive order did not provide for the freedom of those slaves held in areas not in rebellion, such as the border states of Missouri, Kentucky, Maryland, and Delaware. The Emancipation Proclamation outraged white Southerners and Northern Democrats. It energized anti-slavery forces. It inspired slaves to self-emancipate by running away from their Confederate masters, and it announced the recruitment of these very freedmen into the United States Army. In the Natchez District, therefore, freedom to tens of thousands of the enslaved would come with the arrival of federal troops in the summer of 1863. This is Jim Wiggins, retired history instructor at Kapaya Lincoln Community College, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.